Yo, what's going on YouTube? What's up everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Blood, Sweat, and Tears with You've Made Me So Very Happy. This is going to be our third time checking this group out, and this one was the most suggested, I believe, on the last one that we checked out. So appreciate you guys for hitting up the comment sections, letting me know what you guys would like to see next. So here we are, man. If there's going to be more, just hop down in the comment section and let me know once again. But for now, let's go ahead and spin this one up, see what we got with Blood, Sweat, and Tears. I think the last two songs I heard were a bit different, uh, so we'll see, you know, haven't really developed what kind of sound we're going to be getting consistently from the group when we check them out. So it's uh, still discovering territory for me. But let's go ahead and play this one today. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the description if you're enjoying the channel. Please consider becoming a member on my YouTube Patreon. Thank you for the new members, man. I really appreciate you guys. Let's go ahead and hear it out. love before got mad and closed the door but you said child just once more I chose you for the one now we're having so much fun you treated me so kind I'm about to lose my mind you made me so Man, there's so many different things happening. Untrue. But when it came to loving you, I'd spend my whole life with you. Cause you came and you took yeah. control. You touched my very soul. You always showed me that. Loving you is where it's at. You made me so very happy. I'm so glad you came into my life. That bass is consistent. Thank you, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I love you so much, you see. You're even in my dreams. I can hear. I swear it feels like progressive rock, but in like a brass form, <laughs> brass band form. Bring it on down nice and soft. I want to thank oh, you, girl. Going. Every day of my life, I want to thank you. Mm. The step down. You made me so very happy. But I want to spend my life thanking you. Thank you. Man, <laughs> I've got thoughts. 
Ah. Shoot. My first thought is, I hope the singer was playing an instrument because as good as he is and as good as the song is lyrically, he's competing with really great musicians that um, I feel like in a lot of the music I grew up with and listened to, the two main pieces that always shine through no matter what's happening is the singer and the lead guitarist. Like those two people, and that's probably very typical in bands today. I don't know if that was typical, I would say, in where you guys grew up uh but modern day when i'm listening to music i feel like the two biggest highlighted members people notice is the guitarist and the singer right those are like your front runners man typically in every band you can name at least the singer and the guitarist um with this group though i feel you know i didn't even know if they had a guitarist because i i tried a little bit to listen for it and i couldn't really pick up where the guitar was um and the singer he did great but man everything was just shining and i would almost say outshining not to his discredit but to their amazement um they were just outshining man the bass i picked it up right away then you get the horns just blasting through the percussion was so crisp and every snap boom 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 and then i mean he felt like the jazz drummers that i've been exposed to and you know i used to call out this guy was amazing and they would be like well he was a jazz drummer at one point so this gave me that kind of feeling like i don't know if this is you know in the bloodline of a jazz group like yeah they're not pure jazz but is there a lot of roots in this kind of music to say yeah jazz is there it's present um but the drummer just reminded me of some of those sounds and then you get like that organ sound and the piano i don't know i, I thought i heard a lot going on here but i didn't pick up on guitar um and then when i was talking about progressive it's because of how many shifts in uh transitions you get throughout musical sections you're fluid going through these different sections of music, you're not staying in a rhythm very long before they switch you up to the next thing. And that's what I learned with progressive music when I listened to that a lot, progressive rock particularly, is that you would get a lot of these transitions where you're flowing in and out of these quick rhythmic sections. Uh, you don't feel like you're in it too long in what makes a traditional song where you have a very, uh, usually a structure of an intro, a chorus, a verse, a uh, section, a bridge, and then the outro. You know, very simple and cut sometimes as far as where you can section these uh, bits of music off. This doesn't have that. You're just kind of flowing through the song rapidly, and it's pretty cool. So I enjoyed hearing that from Blood, Sweat, and Tears uh, on this track. I thought it was really cool uh, and interesting. All right, guys, we got You Made Me So Very Happy right here. Apparently a single from, who's this? Uh, Brenda Holloway. Okay, Miss Brenda Holloway in 1967 considered soul. And uh, the album, The Artistry of Brenda Holloway. Okay, Brenda Holloway right here. And then you got Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Uh, two years later, 1969, less than two years later by months. Um, and then it, this is Blood, Sweat, and Tears from their album, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, considered jazz rock and soft rock. Okay, cool. So uh, putting jazz in there is actually pretty close to at least what this is saying. So that I can appreciate. All right, cool. I didn't mess it up too bad. All right, you got the songwriters as Barry Gordy, Brenda Holloway, uh, Patrice Holloway, and uh, Frank Wilson as the o originators on this. Okay, so... Brenda Holloway, I feel like I've seen her name again recently, I thought, um, but I, I don't, uh, we haven't reacted to any Brenda on the channel, so let's go ahead and just read the Blood, Sweat, and Tears version. It says, Brenda Holloway's You've Made Me So Very Happy received a boost when the jazz rock group Blood, Sweat, and Tears recorded a new arrangement in 1969. Included on the group's uh, second album, it became one of Blood, Sweat, and Tears' biggest hits, reaching number two on the Billboard Hot 100 in the United States in April 1969. That's great to see that it did good numbers uh, as well. So that's, you know, I love when I hear a good song, but sometimes I hear a really good song and see it didn't get traction the way I thought it would when I heard it because I felt so great hearing it, but it didn't get traction. So good on this one. The song was kept from the number one spot by Aquarius Let the Sun Shine In, and I'm not even mad at that. I've heard Aquarius Let the Sun Shine In, I'm not even mad at that. If you made second place and that made first, I think you just bow and say, hey, you know what, we did great. Uh, Aqu Aquarius Let the Sun Shine In, what a wild ride that one is too. I really enjoyed that. So if you're new here, I have that on the channel uh, from the Fifth Dimension. And we got Outside the U.S., You Made Me Very Happy, went to number 35 in the United Kingdom. So cool right there. There are other versions people kept covering this thing all on the way down so very cool to see matt monroe which we have one song from uh did a cover of this as well so who is i'm very curious now who's miss brenda holloway 
is and she's got songs with every little bit hurts when i'm gone and of course you made me so very happy so if there's anything from miss um brenda holloway or even back with the group blood sweat and tears that you guys want featured on the channel please let me know thank you guys for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed this one with me and let me know if you felt it had that progressive feel that i was maybe mentioning or if uh, they changed that and the original did the original have kind of a transition crazy transitions like that i'm assuming that's probably something that uh blood sweat and tears brought to the table so thank you guys so much don't forget to like subscribe check out the description if you're enjoying the content appreciate it consider becoming a member on my youtube patreon amazing ways to help me and support me if you guys enjoy the content to that level man thank you and i'll see you on the next one peace